Hello there guys and welcome, welcome to the channel, right, so I have discussed several topics of this uh, 2021 roadmap in detail, but perhaps potentially the most important one is right this one here, Project Genesis. Now, if you have been following my channel, you will know that uh, Kabam deserves a fair share of criticism for many different reasons but potentially no issue is more frustrating for a large group of players than the stability of the game the load times the crashes and i have a feeling that inevitably a lot of the bugs are also coming out of the same issue so let's go over the text and uh, i will try to explain the way i perceive this project genesis and what potential improvements and changes it might bring to the game. Marvel Contest of Champions quickly approaches the ripe old age of seven. We need to give the beast some tune-ups to make it worthy of the decade. Project Genesis is a game-wide modernization initiative that will update, refresh and rework huge parts of the contest, bringing it up to the standard and you can expect it to be in 2021. We'll drastically be reducing all out removing load times and between many screens across the games so load times should be cut down quite significantly a refreshed user interface the entire visual style of the contest is going to get a facelift to bring out its true beauty and make the game feel of this time not its time improved map the quest map will get a big upgrade to make it smoother faster and potentially add new ways to interact perfect ui usability from the home screen to the unit store, we're improving the usability layouts of the vast majority of the screens across the contest. Project Genesis um, is an ongoing initiative that will take effect over time, so expect to see performance improvements, new visuals, refreshed UI layouts in the coming months and years. Right, so there is no denying that this game should not have survived as long as it has. Typical age of an average mobile game is about two years. This game is six plus years old, so it's three times as old as an average game lasts. And with that obviously comes a lot of issues. I personally more and more get the feeling that this game could be compared to an old car. Imagine if you have an old, I don't know, Toyota Corolla or whatever. And you just keep on adding features, more elaborate animations in this game, more different champion abilities, tons of different interactions, completely kind of like different visual demands are being made. So you can compare it to an old car that get bigger wheels, you get, I don't know, flashier light systems, you get automated windows in it, more and more things that demand more of your old machine that it was not built to do and you replace everything in your old Toyota except the engine and obviously the car is going to struggle because it has to do a lot more it has to drag around a lot more junk than it initially was made to do and similar situation here in my opinion is causing a lot of issues with the game's the stability issues the load times the crashes the everything is because this game is in fact nearly seven years old and by the when this game was made we were playing with wolverine we were playing with uh og black panther we were playing with gamora and a bunch of very simplistic champions whose ability descriptions fit in a couple of paragraphs or a couple of sentences very straightforward interactions we probably had maybe 10 different types of debuffs stun bleed poison that's about it and obviously that's long not the case anymore and the more impressive visuals are getting added to this game which is something we often praise Marvel Concept Champions uh, graphics department because they're doing a fantastic job but it, it without a doubt puts more and more stress <clears throat> on the game not to mention the amount of information that the game has to be able to present and retrieve in moments notice when this game started we didn't have alliances we didn't have uh 
monthly event quest. We didn't have Act 6, we didn't have Act 5. And there was a lot less information circulating throughout the game. There was only a couple of Act content, there was some arena, and everything else has been added on top of it. The Alliance quest maps, Alliance war maps, side events, monthly events, some sort of uh, Act, all the variants of that permanent piece of content, Abyss, Labyrinth. That's a ton of content that has to be housed there, it has to be retrieved, that has to be loaded, and obviously not to mention the champions themselves. The game started with like, what, 12, 24 champions, and now it has 200 champions, and all of these champions are significantly uh, more complex. Now, whether the champion should be as complex as they have gotten, that is an entirely different debate, because if champion has a lot of shit abilities, it makes for a shit champion as evident with a lot of 2021 champions, Super Scrolls and Psychomans and everybody else. But still, it's all in there. And this game is all. And the way I look at it is that this Project Genesis could hopefully be the time the old Toyota Corolla actually gets a brand new engine. So I think and I hope that we will see significant changes to the performance of Marvel Offensive Champions, because let's face it, this is the most frustrating game most of us have ever played in terms of bugs, in terms of crashes, in terms of persistent issues. And I, as they flat out state here, load time issues should be improved significantly, user interface should be a lot more helpful. But I hope that on top of all of those changes, this could actually mean that we get less bugs, that more things are more streamlined and they work more seamlessly. And again, I'm not pro uh, engineer, I'm not uh, working on mobile games. I'm not necessarily certain that I fully understand everything that goes into this kind of thing. But as a player that has been with this game throughout the years, you can definitely see the steady decrease in the product quality that has come out from Kabam. Bugs at this point appear in this game every week. Every week something goes wrong. Every other week the game goes down for some sort of emergency maintenance. Arena crashes two to three times in an hour and it, it does bring a lot of issues. And anything at all that does improve the situation that we're in right now, something to look forward to. So hopefully this means a significant quality of life change for all of the Android users, for all of the people who might not have the latest device potentially, and in general just makes the game much more playable, much more enjoyable. Hopefully we're going to have more stable uptime on the game, hopefully we're going to have less bugs, and uh, hopefully it also looks dope. Let's not forget that uh, user interface and the way the game is presented to us is also a huge part of the game being popular or being uh, played by a lot of people. And there is that initial oomph that's needed for any game once you download it for you to actually get carried away with it. Now, Marvel is significantly picking up its um, show and movie release. And that is pretty much the primary advertisement for this game, because obviously... Marvel Concept Champion's success is directly tied into Marvel Cinematic Universe and success of Marvel Cinematic Universe. And now that we get, get a lot more movies, a lot more shows put out there, that should also mean that this game is going to appear in a lot more people's recommended games. A lot more people will be interested in Marvel Heroes once again. And that will hopefully bring us a ton of new people. And in the state that the game is right now, I can guarantee you that a large portion of those new players would not stick around for very long having to deal with this frustrating game in its current state. So this could potentially be the most important change for the game and for its longevity. Let's hope it works well and let's hope it does what it is intended. Let me know what you guys think in comment section, but that is it for now, and I'm going to catch you guys soon. See ya!
did with hello there guys and welcome back to the channel so we have all the